welcome once again to the channel I've came out this morning on my own Claire's uh, at work as I've said in the past Claire works for the NHS and she's uh, at work today she had got a shift uh, busy times for NHS workers for, for medical staff around the world anyway and they, as we all know they do an absolutely amazing job they put themselves out there to help us all and as we know at the moment the world's gone absolutely crazy and this bloody virus uh, quite worrying times for loved ones and those that are most vulnerable but yeah, the ground's a little bit wet here we haven't, I haven't been here for a while it's somewhere that uh, we come quite often it's quite close to where we live and it's a nature reserve and it's absolutely stunning a lot of birds we've got reed warblers and things um, and we're right on the river Tees and over that side of the river there and along here is somewhere I've been coming for 30 plus years my stomping ground as a child so to speak yeah absolutely beautiful beautiful day beautiful morning thought I'd just come out and have a little walk and enjoy a little bit of time outdoors there's quite a few ponds in this area as well so you get a lot of wetland birds later in the year you get a lot of uh, Canada geese coming over which at times is absolutely amazing to see and then you get coots moor hens and stuff like that but we'll have a little look at that later on I've just seen uh, some deer tracks there look at the size of that dead tree trunk over there last time I was down here that was actually in the river so they must have had machinery down here and got that out nice little place to sit hopefully they'll leave it there because uh, obviously it'd be brilliant for insects and whatnot that be a nice little place to oh let me just tripping over there nice little place to just sit down very nice Right, we'll carry on. We'll go and see if there's any uh, wild edibles around as well while we're here. Now if we just head over here and take a look at this plant here, what we've got here is cowslip. And as we, we take a look at it, as we can see it looks quite similar to the primrose. If we take a look at the leaves, very similar shape indeed, maybe it's a lot smaller. Then if we look at the flower, we've got this beautiful stem with a, a number of flowers on there and these are edible we can add these to salads and they taste really floral and maybe it's quite citrusy we can also use the leaves in salads oh they are absolutely delicious and we're safer here because it's a bit, little bit off the track so we have the way of dog pee height beautiful if we take a look along there we can see we've got some more there we go that's cowslips we can add them to salads the leaves and the flowers and a nice little wayside snack also I will we'll carry on our little walk take a look here we've got some bramble we can identify this 
by all the thorns on these stems and then the shape of the leaf at the moment these leaves are young just starting to open out and as we know later in the year bramble bears uh, fruit called blackberries what are really good for us full of vitamins fully antioxidants and we've got uh, lots of uses that we can use them for we can use them for make jams jellies wines puddings uh, beautiful things they are as well really tasty something that we're probably familiar with from foraging for when we were children there we are these little shoots here we can actually let's have a look we can actually take and eat and they're quite delicious and fresh yeah they're really nice we can eat them we can actually gather these and use them to make teas as well a delicious tea yeah we'll carry on we'll have a little walk around still We take a look here, we've got willow. We see here the leaf's starting to open out there. And we've got these like catkins. I'm sure if I remember correctly, when I was a child, this is what me, me gran used to call lamb's tails. These catkins. Oh. Um, but yeah, this is willow. And has many uses. If we take branches like this one, if we have a look here, we can use that for making baskets and that kind of thing but it also has medicinal uses all willow has some medicinal uses it call, contains something called salicin salicylic acid which is a component where aspirin was derived from so this is a natural pain relief we can take a branch like that a twig like that and take the bark off and make a tea or we can just chew that just chew the truck just take a piece off and just chew it for a natural uh, pain remedy and I believe it uh, doesn't have the same as effect as aspirin as in giving you an upset st so stomach I will get my words out but uh, caution must be used if you're allergic to aspirin or anything same with any wild edible anything that uh, you consume you've got to be 100% sure of what you're eating that you've identified it correctly and that uh, it's safe for you to use but yeah let's have a little wander on and carry on and enjoy this nice walk that really is a pleasure just getting out enjoying the sunshine nice little bit of warmth of the spring sun it's lovely i really do enjoy coming along here in the light of night, it's something that we do uh, practically maybe every other night after work. Just bring the dog out and me and Claire come for a little stroll. Nice to de-stress after work. You see we've got wetlands over to that way. We've got ponds and stuff. Then we've got the river just here to the left. If you have a little look at this sycamore tree, see we've got a nesting box there. I would imagine that will be getting uh, used before long. Probably blue tits or something. And if we take a little look further up the tree, we've got some bat boxes. We do get quite a lot of bats within this area. And something else that we enjoy coming down here for and seeing, seeing the bats. Fascinating to watch.
Now, if we take a little look at this plant here, we've got Himalayan balsam. We can see it's uh, at this stage, it's just its seedlings. We've got the plant that's ready to shoot and grow. Um, it's not actually native to the UK. It came from somewhere, I think, like India, I believe. Um, and this plant will grow approximately about two meters high and cover this bank side. It is a really, really invasive plant. Um, but it does have some uses. We can use the leaves, we can eat the leaves, um, but they contain a lot of minerals. So it, um, it's advised not to eat a lot of them, especially if you have things like gout. Um, the flowers, when it flowers, it produces beautiful pink flowers. And again, fantastic for bees and stuff. But we can use that for making drinks and adding to salads. And later, after the flower season, we get these seed pods, and you've possibly seen them as you walk when you're walking around. Um, and the, and it, once they mature, and you knock them, the seed pod bursts and scatters seeds all over the place. I think sometimes they get called jumping jacks. But be, before the seed pods reach that stage, we can take them and we can add them, use them things like use them similar to things like sugar snaps and add them to curries and stir fries and that sort of thing and the seeds do have a beautiful nutty taste that uh, we often eat them whilst we're walking as a little wayside snack we've also got cleavers along here just starting to come through can we see them there we've got cleavers or sticky willy or goose grass is it goose grass i believe it is um and they're sticky to what as we're kids we um we would throw and stick to your clothing and catch that but uh, as these i mean like at this stage we can eat them tips as it matures it's probably best not to because it, it, it uh obviously the develop little hairs and that can get caught on your throat and stuff but these little tips there they're fine to eat and they're really tasty absolute magnificent plant full of uh goodness a real good spring tonic as it matures we can collect the plant and squeeze the juice out and make a drink with that and that's really good for our lymphatic system and a, and a just all around nice spring tonic it's also good if we squeeze it for and get all that juice out of that liquid good for skin complaints uh sunburn you can see just that little bit how, how juicy that is good for insect bites have i already said that but yeah absolutely magnificent little plant but yeah, let's carry on our little journey. As I was saying, with the last plant, the Himalayan balsam, just look at it all on this bank side. This bank side will be absolutely covered. There's loads of it. It is extremely invasive due to the way the seeds pop and scatter and spread all over. The amount of uh, wild edibles that are about is uh, unreal. There's ground ivy and all sorts, but I'll show those on another video. Otherwise, this one will end up being about two hours long. Another nice bird box. So yesterday was the spring equinox. So we 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 are officially into spring now which is an absolutely magnificent time of the year now we've got another wild edible here we'll take a look at that now all right here we have hawthorn if we take a look i don't know if the camera's picking this up but we can see the leaf is just uh, starting to open the buds are just starting to open and if we take a leaf like so we can eat that a nice little wayside snack we, we, we can add these to salads and things um, in areas of the UK some areas they get called bread and butter other places gets called bread and cheese and come May this will be a wash in beautiful flowers we can uh, harvest the flowers and use them in salads and stuff also the uh, wood on the hawthorn has been traditionally used to make knife handles in the past 
and it's uh, for firewood it make it burns really really intensely hot great firewood nice to carve as well i've used this to carve spoons and whatnot and it's uh, a nice wood to carve but it also has some medicinal uses it's good for the circulation it's good for the heart and it's good for blood pressure if you've got high blood pressure hawthorn will lower it if you've got low blood pressure hawthorn will uh, increase it it uh, has been used um, to treat mild an angina in the past and as I say it's good for the heart it sometimes gets called the heart plant it's good for balancing the blood and we can make teas with the leaf and the uh, flower and stuff like that and it's good for things like anxiety and stuff like that as well it'll help just settle you down a little bit later in the season it produces a wash of bright red berries and with them berries we can use them for make things like fruit leathers um, teas dry them and make teas we can make white use them for making wines uh, that sort of thing but yeah a way we can identify it I mean we can't really see the leaf at the moment because they're closed but uh, I'll get one of these off you know if we take a look at that we get these thorns and they're, they're quite sharp punish you if you got into them but yeah now well, we're gonna have a little carry on and enjoy this walk because it's a uh, very nice and peaceful we take a little look on the other side of the river there that place there is known locally as Horseshoe Bend due to the way the river cuts uh, through the land the river comes along goes up further up there and goes back around the other side in the shape of a horseshoe hence the name Horseshoe Bend it's uh, somewhere that I uh, spent a lot of time again in my teens both myself and Claire Oh, myself and Claire have been together since we were at school in our mid-teens and now we're, well I'm in my, just over my mid-40s so it's been some years <laughs> but yeah, this place just never gets tired here we are at one of the ponds how stunning does that look? How peaceful. Just listen to the wind, the breeze through the reeds. We generally get a lot of reed wobblers in these reeds. And then we get a lot of uh, swans on the lake. It looks like coots over yonder. There was one just down here a short while ago. Absolutely stunning. Say this is just pretty much on the doorstep. The ducks and geese can't really see the way the sun's shining. Absolutely stunning. And as I said earlier, just getting out in this just does you the world of good. I'm gonna leave the video just now. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed coming out with me as much as I've enjoyed being out. And as always, stay safe and just take care of those most vulnerable around us at this moment. Right, I'm going to go and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.